All right, let me go get the burning blade. We're we're in the next video. Welcome back. I already did things. There's more quests to do here in Duratar. Start with the burning blade. I don't know why I'm running. I'm used to it. Ooh, hello. I'm here for all the ore. Need spell scrolls. Always here to take down a cult. For or oh god. I'm a demon now. Ah. I'm no longer a demon. Hold on one second. I gotta shut my window. My wife called. All right. Window shut. We're back. We go deeper into the cave. Oh, it's this way. Look at all this ore. Uh, I don't want to get that one. I don't want to fight these guys. I just want to leave. Bye bye. So I finished this part of the burning blade with Gordon on coming to, to talk to you again. The scrolls, hero, the scrolls. The scrolls. This is quite interesting. These rites aren't all that different from the spells which are taught to horde warlocks. This merits further investigation. Okay. You should head north from here, hero. Speak with Gor the Enforcer at the Dranishar blockade. Dranishar? He's been placed in charge of securing shipping lanes for Orgrimmar, and Skullrock sits right next to his precious dock. I'm certain he'll be interested in picking up where we left off. Oh yeah. On my way. Hey, what you got for me? 
Reziak. I'm Rezlak, one of Gaslow's boys. Boys. The boss sent me to help the orcs here in Daroder. Things been going good except for the caravans. Can't manage to keep them safe. Makes my job a little harder, you know? The last shipment, which they promised would get through, was snatched by the dust wind harpies of, where was it, Razorwind Canyon. I gotta have those supplies. Follow the big canyon to the south. You'll find a ravine cut right into the west and east sides of the walls. Okay, I can do that. Gaslo told me once, Reslak. There's one thing you need to know in life, and that's if you want something done well, do it yourself. I can't deal with losing all our caravans, so I'm just going to take matters into my own hands. Harpies plague our supply routes. If we kill the harpies, the caravans are safe. Of course, there was one other thing that Gaslo taught me, and that's you can get anything done for a price. You and Hero? Good. I recommend starting in the canyon to the east. Gaslo told me once, Reslak. I already heard it. I replay it. See if I ever change the quest outcome. Uh, Here we go. Killing some new harpies. Only 12. 12 harpies. And it comes with or you bitch, don't you dare interrupt me. You it oh Peace to kill. Grizzly bracers, huh? Four supplies. Supply and my last two harpies.
Hey, or noise. All right, Reslak, I got some more for you. I'm great at what I do. Don't get me wrong, but this is ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? Build sand castles. I'd love to see that. Hey, now isn't that just the thing? You've got our supplies back for us. That's great. I'll be able to get back to work just as soon as I can find someone to haul these sacks for me. Okay. I think I can breathe easy now, knowing that the harpies won't be bothering our supply caravans anymore. And not one moment too soon either. I hear I'm being sent some fun little toys with the next shipment. You're pretty good at what you do, hero. You ought to track down my boss and ratchet. Ratchet? Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Some work for you, yeah, maybe. Don't worry. I wouldn't forget to pay you for the service you provided me. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate you. All right, now on my original mission, we're going to Renoshar blockade. What up, Gore? You're the one who handled the burning blade to the south. I've got ears in all kinds of places, boy. And word travels fast. Oh, thank you. The flood to the southwest wiped out one of the few burning blade camps that still pockmarked Deroder. This one was led by a goblin Harad Fizzle Darkclaw, and believe me, we're better off without him. Darkclaw, however, did possess an orb that the Horde is interested in procuring. Who knows why? I leave that to the warlocks. All I know is that I need that orb. Okay, with the image of Fizzle Dark Classes, I imagine he'll look a little more waterlogged by the time you get to him. Excellent. Our army needs water, and luckily the elements gave us plenty of that when the cataclysm hit. The water that filled up the canyon to the southwest should do the trick. Unfortunately, the corpses of Thunder Lizards still sit at the bottom of the canyon, and their electrical discharges are a bit too dangerous. I've got grunts that can lift them out of the water. But we need someone agile enough to attach the other end of the rope. Are you my man, hero? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. All right then, Shin, what you got? My associate here has some plans for you that I don't agree with. His actions are hasty, uncontrolled, and irresponsible, and you may end up paying for them with your life. Okay. Before you work with Kor, first listen to the tale that I have to tell. It's a moralistic story, a fable, but I believe its lesson will prove valuable. Okay. Speak to me when you are ready. Okay, yeah. Tell me your fable. One day the wolf was very hungry, so he ran east to look for some food. Okay. The wolf had grown tired of eating poor meat. The wolf was lazy and didn't want to work for his meal. Of course, I relate. He was hungry for Kodo meat. Typically takes a lot of work to kill a Kodo, I imagine. The wolf did not care for raptor meat. No, of course not. Too chewy. The more he ran, the more his stomach growled. Yeah. The wolf found scorpion meat to be too bitter. Yes, yes, it's poisonous. He happened upon a pair of battling kodos. Clever as he was, the wolf decided to wait for one to defeat the other. When the weaker kodo died, the wolf approached and tried to eat it. The remaining Kodo, angry at the wolf's impetuousness, swiftly killed the wolf before he had a chance to eat. Damn. I'm sure there's a lesson there. The moral of the story, hasty, lazy actions have ruinous results. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. We mustn't take shortcuts. We must work for our rewards. I've been trying to tell this story to the Enforcer, but I fear his hell scream worshipping skull is a little bit too thick. It might be, man, but I too am a warrior. I get it. What you got for me, Gore? 
Ignore the shaman. Soldier. Oh, okay, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah y'all are just bickering. That be within the horde demand that I keep him with me, but I assure you that thrall loving farcer truly sees no farther than the borders of this hut. Elementals war against one another to the west of here. I normally wouldn't mind, but I need that land clear to secure a broader shipping route to and from the barons. The elementals are normally quite strong, but they are weakened by their attacks against one another. Use this knowledge to destroy them. Okay. So I got a lot to do over here. Oh, hey, what you got? You got a quest. Oh, a brew fest. I'll, I'll do that later. Well, can I mine these guys? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> there you are. Nice. Wow. What's up, Ray? Oh, what's up, Taylor? Are we are y'all trying to get me to come play? here I'm gonna grab this corpse over here Ooh. target too close huh don't touch me 75 frost noise Got that. Now I just gotta get these Kodos out of here, or these Thunder Lizards, I suppose. Attach tether. Do, 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 do. Oh, I have water breathing in three more minutes. Nice. I feel like Earthen should just always be able to water breathe, you know what I mean? Like, I'm made of rock. No, 
not really organic. If I can't eat organic food, I don't know why I am a breathing thing, you know? I can come get in Discord after I finish recording this video. One more. Oh, God bless. we I'm in combat with what okay here we go I'm not gonna help yet that's gonna be a different video oh that's proof fast yeah, yeah. I got some stuff for you, Gore. The electricity was only one of the dangers. If those carcasses rot too long under the water, that entire source becomes undrinkable. Well done, hero. I left some. I didn't get them all. See? The shaman's tales are nothing but that, a youngling's bedtime stories. The new horde takes what it wants and doesn't waste time yeah. on frivolity if you get a chance. The I new horde! And those like him, not to waste any more of your time. Yeah, fuck that guy. Wasting my time. Run into any trouble on the way? I ask for an orb, and you bring half of the goblin's arm with you? I like the way you work. Tell you what, you've already given me a hand. Allow me to return the favor. Uh huh. One of our more useful shaman, Margos, knows more of the Burning Blade's corruption. He speaks of a cave called Skull Rock in the mountains just outside Orgrimmar that shelters a large band of burning blade cultists. Oh yeah. Before you go to Skull Rock, speak with Margos. He is wise and his counsel is valued. Okay. He is camped to the southeast between the coast and Dry Gulch Ravine. Of course. Follow his advice, but whatever Margos says, hero, I still want you to crush those cultists. Oh, I I will. Oof. Oof. It looks like your services are being requested elsewhere. A.G. Tor Bloodfist is looking for AG recruits Tor. to assist the Horde's ventures in Azhara, north of Orgrimmar. I'm sure you still have work to do here in Doror, and I understand that they'll shortly be asking for your help in the Barrens. I wouldn't be going anywhere yet if I were you, mm -hmm. if you're itching for some Manifest Destiny. Azhara waits. Well, I do like Manifest Destiny. Exploits in Deroder, you are a hero of growing skill and renown. Yes, Stay I know. On the pure path, and your future will be great indeed. Okay, thanks. Hero, the Burning Blade has infested the cave east of Orgrimmar, known as Skull Rock. Inside that cave, they perform vile rituals and burn their own flesh with searing collars. Oh yeah. By wearing these collars, Jesus. I believe the cultists attune themselves to demonic power. And burn their own flesh. That's crazy. This, I must have a collection of the collars to study. Go to Skull Rock and gather searing collars from the cultists you find there. Bring them to me, and I will uncover their secrets. I can't wait for you to do that. What the big nag? Hero, stop a minute. My boss Spike Tooth sent me to look for help and supplies. You don't appear to be a merchant, 
but you can probably still help him out. He's just to the southeast of here, next to the crashed cart. Oh, and tell him I sent you. I want to make sure that he knows I'm not just slacking off over here. You got it. Or give me that. Right now, sorry. What did you need? What do you get these guys chained up for? Spike tooth. Oh, you're a slave driver. Bag sent you without telling you that I need wagon wheels, nails, and rations. That idiot. <laughs> okay, so you got three quests for me. I own a couple gladiators that I put into competitions around Kalimdor. You can see most of them chained up around here. We were lucky to rein these ones and after the cart broke down. Gislania, that Naga over there, she's lost her last three fights. She could use a tune-up, or maybe just a little bit of thrashing. Go challenge her. I'll bet even you are stronger than she is. Oh. Griswold, chained up over there on the cliffs, is my newest gladiator. We found him just south of here, sniffing around with Northwatch soldiers. I had my men nab him up, and now he works for me. He looks tough enough, but he hasn't really been battle-tested yet. Go pick a fight with him so I can see if he's worth keeping around. Jesus. I wouldn't normally keep a Tonka as a captain Tonka. due to their close relationship with the Horde, but this one is a traitor and a criminal to boot. <gasps> Exiled by his own tribe, he canoed down to Azhara and was found stealing supplies from Valormok. Not Valormok. He would have been put to the axe had I not been standing by, wallet in hand. Gaur is my winningest gladiator, hero. I'll bet you a fist full of silver that you can't beat him. Well, time to beat up some slaves. Hello, Griswold. What's the matter, Chum? Never seen a warrior before? Alright, well. Doesn't matter now, I guess. Stop jumping around, weirdo. Alright, now a Naga slave. What do you want, Earthen? Yeah, I'm here to beat you up. Nope. Do I frighten you, Earthen? No. Don't you do that Tonkin Rage thing. I don't want to deal with that. Oh, he gonna do the Tonkin Rage thing. Oh, God, big! Oh, God, die! Whoa! Why are you so big? I watched you fight out there. How long you been a hero? You're all right, kid. Thanks. I'm at a crossroads now, hero. You defeated him easily in combat, but then again, I did get him for free, and he's pretty cheap to feed. Maybe we'll keep him around for a bit. Okay. Fine. Here's the money, but you'd better make yourself scarce before I reconsider my policy on keeping horde slaves. Okay, so I just beat up some slaves for money. You know, just living the life. So now I gotta go to School Rock. So, ooh, or. Or. This is the real journey I'm on, is to get a whole bunch of rocks. What's that, rumble foil bag? Oh. Okay. Ugh. 
There's one. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a rare. Then I'm a demon. Imbued simple cape. All right, I got my collars and I got a cape now. It took it to level 21 for me to get a cape. <laughs> There's so much ore, but I, I, I want to finish this. All right, more yet. Uh, Margos? Entered Skull Rock, hero. Do you have the searing collars? Good. Hiding within these collars is the secret behind the burning blade. Uh huh. And I will uncover that secret. I'm sure you will. The searing collars you brought me are powerful demonic implements. Divining their origin is, I'm afraid, beyond my skills as a shaman. We will need a warlock to study them. Take a searing collar to Arnak Fireblade. Although he is a skilled warlock, he professes to use his powers to thwart demons and claims his research in the occult is benign. Be that true or false, we may need his aid against the demonic cult in Daroder. You may find Arnak in Orbermar in the Cleft of Shadow. All right, I'll go look for him right now so I can finish this quest chain. My most humble greetings, hero. How might I help my hero brother today? Ah, and where did you get this? Good Margos sent you to me, did he? Well, let me take a closer look. Since the last great war when the Burning Legion was defeated, I have searched for sources of demonic corruption in Orc society. The collar you brought me confirms my fears. It belongs to the Burning Blade. Your role in this tale is nearly complete, hero. Go to Far Watch Post, on the border of the Barrens to the west, and speak with my assistant, A.K. Zeloff. Pass on to him this information. Okay, I will do that. But that is for a different time. All right. Next up, we'll get the uh, the, the South Fury River area of Durotar in the next video.